United States is the only major country in the world that continues to use the Fahrenheit temperature scale. Most Americans are not accustomed to using the Celsius temperature scale, and most people new to the United States are not very familiar with the Fahrenheit scale. When it comes to hot and cold, a breakdown in communication often occurs. In the Fahrenheit scale, 20 degrees is well below freezing. With the Celsius scale, on the other hand, 20 degrees is a very comfortable temperature. The formulas used to convert from one temperature scale to the other are too complex for most of us to calculate mentally. There is an easy method to change between the Fahrenheit and Celsius temperature scales. It's a technique that only works for people who are familiar with New York and its subway system. Here's how it works. This is the number six subway line in New York City. The station stops between 33rd Street and 103rd Street represent Fahrenheit temperatures. At 33rd Street, that is 33 degrees Fahrenheit, the corresponding temperature is 0 degrees Celsius. Okay, it's really 0 0.55 degrees Celsius. For each station stop going uptown on the number 6 subway line, add 5 degrees Celsius. At 42nd Street stop, 42 degrees Fahrenheit, you have roughly 5 degrees Celsius. At the next station stop, 51st Street, 51 degrees Fahrenheit, you arrive at roughly 10 degrees Celsius. One stop further uptown to 59th Street, 59 degrees Fahrenheit, gives you 15 degrees Celsius. This works for all the stations until you reach 103rd Street, 103 degrees Fahrenheit, corresponding roughly to 40 degrees Celsius. This was the temperature reached in New York's record-breaking heat wave in August 2006. How accurate is this conversion method? This chart shows that the conversion is off by only a fraction of a degree, at most. In some cases, the conversion is 100% accurate. The New York City subway temperature conversion only works well for the stations between 33rd Street and 103rd Street. If you are familiar with New York and the Lexington Avenue subway line, you can use this fast, easy technique to speak confidently about temperatures with anyone from any culture. Visit our website for more information about training programs in English pronunciation and additional free tutorials.